Hey everyone, it's time for another Learn Flute podcast. This is episode 74, and I'm Rebecca, your host and the expert at Learn Flute Online, where I will help you through all things related to learning how to play the flute and doing it really well. Let's get started today with another episode. Today we'll be discovering an unexpected positive side effect from flute playing. Yep, let's get started. You can do it, and Rebecca will show you how, step-by-step all along the way. Introducing the The Learn Learn Flute Podcast. Podcast. I hope I've piqued your interest today because I wasn't quite sure how to title this one. (laughs) Well, let me give you a little background so you understand. First of all, I started this conversation years ago with my first son. He's all grown up now, but this was back when he was in the sixth grade and had to take his first official keyboarding class. Now, I didn't think anything of this, and actually, neither did he, until he started to hear all of the other kids in the school complaining about how awful the keyboarding class was. Well, by the way, this is the same as a typing class, for those of you who haven't heard it called keyboarding before. Now, since we don't actually have typewriters anymore, they call it keyboarding here anyway. It's a generational term, maybe. Well, anyway, the secretary at the school was our good friend and told us that more calls came in from parents complaining about the difficulty level of the keyboarding class than any other subject taught in the school. Interesting? Yeah, I thought so. So we had a discussion at home about it. And I asked my son if the teacher was unusually hard or mean or unfair or something. And his answer stuck with me for a long time. He said, nope, mom, the other kids just haven't ever had to use their fingers one at a time before. So it's really hard for them. I get an A without even trying. (laughs) Now, the story doesn't end here because four years later, my next child went through the same school. Same keyboarding class with the same teacher. And you guessed it, it was still the most talked about subject amongst all of the students. They absolutely hated that class. And as usual, the secretaries were still getting a lot of calls. Well, I asked him what he thought about it. And his response was similar to my older son's. He said something like, Well, for some reason, I do the assignments in the first 10 minutes, and then I get to read my library book for the rest of the class period, while the other kids grunt and groan, and some even cry about it. (laughs) Hmm, I thought. So I started to ask my other flute students of similar age what their experience was in that dreaded keyboarding class, since many of them were from our same area. And they all said... It's easy. I get an A without even trying very hard at all. But most of the kids in the class really struggle very bad. Well, this started me on a quest of research. Is it just my boys who are good at typing? No, as my other flute students who were really good at it as well. It turns out that the pianists in the class also had no troubles. Hmm, are you seeing a common theme here today? Now, this story hasn't really ended because I have other children, and they've all had the same experience. Now, I'd like to point out that my case study didn't end there. I've as nicely as possible noticed that my husband cannot type for the life of him. He's pokey slow and even has to look at the keyboard while he types. And you guessed it, he never had any music lessons in his whole life. Well, when he was about 40 years old, he asked me if I would teach him how to play the guitar. I was so excited that he came to me. Of course, I said yes, and I totally set him up. Well, difficult times he had to the point where he decided to move on a little, and I helped him decide to learn to play the harmonica instead. (laughs) He needed an instrument that didn't require fingers. Well, he can learn. He's very smart. He just hasn't had the patience it takes to repeat the proper one finger at a time motions enough times to feel comfortable yet. So when is the last time you took a keyboarding test for speed? Kind of curious? Well, I dare you to take one right now. 
I took one in preparation for this audio and I'm happy to say that I had a final speed of 91 words per minute. Pretty good? Yep, I think so. All three of my boys are speedy typers and you should hear them play the flute too. Fly to the Bumblebee is one of their favorites. And I'm so glad we've brought instrumental music into our family and lives here because there are so many great side effects. I dare you to take a type test now if you're a beginner in flute and then in a few years after practicing the flute as an instrument and learning how to use your fingers one at a time, I dare you to take the test again then and see if you've improved. Now I explore many of these great side effects in other articles, lessons, and audios here at Learn Flute Online. And if learning how to play the flute well can perform miracles such as making sixth grade type class a breeze, then I'd count that as one of the top unexpected positive side effects from flute playing. Don't you think? Well, I appreciate you and your journey. I also hope that you'll come to the comment sections of these audios and let me know what you think. I'm releasing these week by week and will be pointing you students at different discussions at different times by either linking you to this in a module lesson or sending it out via email. So if you haven't had time to get signed up for the membership here at Learn Flute Online where all of the lessons are and even more information that will help you learn how to play the flute really well. It's definitely time to do so. We'd love you to join us. Now, I'm Rebecca Fuller, your flute instructor and expert in helping you get to where you want to go. We'll be seeing you soon. Thanks for listening today. Remember that this is where people of all ages, such as you, can come, learn, and play the musical instrument flute in an easy-to-follow organized manner and in the privacy and comfort of your own home on your own schedule.